Trump finally ended it. This has never been done before, let the looting begin. Navigating the minefield that is political correctness is enough to send even the most conscious diplomat to the psychiatric ward. Between microaggressions, cultural appropriation and gender confusion one can't even be safe when relegating their comments to the weather. The reason for all the confusion, and subsequent offense, is that the rules about what is okay to say or do are made up and retroactively enforced on a person's speech. And to make matters worse, the rules are made up by the hearer. Without literally being able to hear the other person's thoughts, it's completely impossible to ensure that one won't offend someone. Language is a very powerful thing, and everyone who is anyone knows that. It shapes the opinions of a generation to hear the way we refer to things, and that opinion influences future law. Because of that, terms like fetus have replaced baby, to lessen the blow of abortion, and transgender has replaced a number of terms that used to be used to refer to someone with gender dysmorphia. These have caused the entire population to accept things that we should have stopped and taken a much closer look at. Because of the power that these terms have over our perception of the world, President Trump stepped in and demanded that the Centers for Disease Control, CDC, stop confusing the nation with these terms, along with a few others. This has crippled the aggressive liberal agenda that works over time to control what the nation thinks and infuriated more than a few people. The Washington Post reported on these changes, and was none too happy to tell us that these rumors are indeed true. The Trump administration is prohibiting officials at the nation's top public health agency from using a list of seven words or phrases, including fetus and transgender, in official documents being prepared for next year's budget. Policy analysts at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta were told of the list of forbidden terms at a meeting Thursday with senior CDC officials who oversee the budget, according to an analyst who took part in the 90-minute briefing. The forbidden terms are vulnerable, entitlement, diversity, transgender, fetus, evidence-based and science-based. The question of how to address such issues as sexual orientation, gender identity, and abortion rights, all of which received significant visibility under the Obama administration, has surfaced repeatedly in federal agencies since President Trump took office. Several key departments, including HHS, as well as Justice, Education, and Housing and Urban Development, have changed some federal policies and how they collect government information about lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender Americans. At the CDC, the meeting about the ban terms was led by Allison Kelly, a career civil servant who is a senior leader in the agency's Office of Financial Services, according to the CDC analyst who spoke on the condition of anonymity because the person was not authorized to speak publicly. Kelly did not say why the words are being banned, according to the analyst, and told the group that she was merely relaying the information. Other CDC officials confirmed the existence of a list of forbidden words. It's likely that other parts of HHS are operating under the same guidelines regarding the use of these words, the analyst said. While the pity party for those who will be left behind is no doubt being queued up as we speak, the fact of the matter is that President Trump is attempting to take this politically charged language out of a government agency that is supposed to be looking out for the physical health of every human, regardless of the choices they make in their life, and yes, that includes the choice to transition away from the gender you were born with. As you can imagine, this didn't go over well with anyone that the WAPO cared to interview. The reaction of people in the meeting was incredulous, the analyst said. It was very much, are you serious? Are you kidding? In my experience, we've never had any pushback from an ideological standpoint, the analyst said. News of the ban on certain words hasn't yet spread to the border group of scientists at the CDC, but it's likely to provoke a backlash, the analyst said. Our subject matter experts will not lay down quietly. This hasn't trickled down to them yet. Kelly told the analysts that certain words in the CDC's budget drafts were being sent back to the agency for correction. Three words that had been flagged in these drafts were vulnerable, entitlement and diversity. Kelly told the group the ban on the other words had been conveyed verbally. This attack on the very foundation of the politically correct movement is one that nobody saw coming. 
President Trump saw fit to take away the tools that liberals working within the government are using to further the left's agenda, and it's well within his rights to do so. Lest we go down the path of this obscuring free speech please go back in your mind and recall all the times you've heard of a person being fired for making a racial slur or insulting some protected class. If language, at work, can be constricted by the left, it can be constricted by the right as well. They might not like it, but what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Gander.